Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand quick sort time complexity for worst case, worst and best case. So, the concept of quick sort has already been explained uh, detailed in our data structures course. And if you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because without understanding how the quick sort works uh, and uh, the algorithm of quick sort. So, this is the algorithm of quick sort and this is the algorithm for partition, which is part of the quick sort. So, the detailed explanation of quick sort has already been made in our data structures course. Please watch those videos and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be part of entire course. Or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class we'll try to understand the time complexity of quick sort for worst and best case uh, best cases so in this example so i'll try to understand this by using these uh, uh, sample simple arrays so this simple arrays uh, so the working the efficiency of the quick sort is bit different when compared with all the algorithms that we have seen so far so how the quick sort will behave is see here so these are this is uh, uh, this is uh, how the, the the elements are already there in the sorted order but in the quick sort if the elements are already there in the sorted order or the elements are already there in the unsorted order or the elements are if all the elements are of uh, same uh, uh, if all the elements are equal then this is going to be the worst case scenario for the quick sort so far if the elements are arranged in the uh, sorted order we have considered for almost every algorithm if they are arranged in the sorted order then it is considered as the best case but here for the quick sort this is the worst case so why it is worst case that we will try to understand this is worst case and this is for the best case okay so why it is worst case is So just we will try to understand. Okay. So now uh, why it is worst case is because uh, if you apply the partition algorithm on this, what happens is the five. So the if the pivot element is considered as the last element. So the this element is considered as the pivot element. And if we apply the partition algorithm on this, so uh, the elements are already there in the sorted order. So where the partition will be? See here. One, two, three. 4 if we apply partition algorithm on this the division will be on this element and this part is considered so this entire part is considered as the sub part so on this if we apply again the sorted uh, partition algorithm what happens so this one the the exact position for this is this one uh, this is there in its position itself now this part will be divided into one half and as the as we don't have any elements on the right hand side of it so this is the only element so there is no other partition sub uh, sub uh, uh, division for this so this is the only division now again if we apply the partition on this uh, this is considered as the partition element and this one will be in its position and this remaining part is considered so this remaining part is considered as the other half so if you apply again the partition algorithm so how it is behaving so that we have to understand so the behavior is it is t of n minus 1 so every time one element is considered is getting in its position and it is the last element and t of n minus elements are divided into another half so try to get that point the time complexity for this is t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus n so what for what this n is this n is for partition algorithm so the partition algorithm is going to iterate for n times so every time uh, it is the how that uh, division is made it is t of n minus 1 see here t of n minus 1 so this is what the other division is every time we are getting t of n minus 1 as its division in our previous classes we have discussed how this can be solved by using substitution method so clearly we have explained this example we have taken this example and we have uh, by using the substitution method we have solved this in our previous videos so here this is going to be big o of n square so if you solve this by using substitution method this is going to be big o of n square 
similarly if you consider the next case where the elements are in the descending order if this is all this is the case then how the algorithm will behave so that we will try to understand here the elements are uh, in the descending order 5 4 3 2 1 if this is the case how the behavior is going to be so we are going to consider this as the pivot element and if we apply partition algorithm on this so how the elements are going to be so this one will come here and uh, if we apply <coughs> partition so then this one will be here and this 5 will move here okay so now uh, now if we apply the partition algorithm and after that the subdivision is going to be these elements again the same way in which this is behaving in the case of uh, uh, the elements or in the sorted order the same we are going to get here it is going to get t of n minus 1 if we again apply the partition algorithm on this so let's see for some of the cases so this is considered as the pivot element as this is the largest element and all the remaining elements are smaller than this now the division is going to be this is in its position 5 is in its position right so if you know the quick sort algorithm then it is very much easy for you to so so hoping that you you, you know the uh, clearly uh, you, you clearly know the how the quick sort will work so okay so based upon that we are explaining this so this is uh, uh, the 5 will be here and uh, this will be in its position and these elements will remain the same okay again it is t of n minus 1 so uh, n minus 1 so on this if we apply again partition algorithm 2 so the 2 will come here and these two elements will be uh, 3 will be here and 4 will be here so uh, uh, again the partition is done on this one again t of n minus 1 so this is same as that of this one every time the partition algorithm is going to take n amount of time and the division is t of n minus 1 n plus t of n minus 1 if you substitute so the same uh, equation recurrence equation we're going to get the t of n for this kind of arrangement so all these are the worst cases all these are the worst cases if the elements are already there in the sorted order if the elements are all are, are in the descending order reverse order if all the elements are of same type same value then they are going to take t of n the amount of time taken by the algorithm is n plus t of n minus 1 similarly for this also try to uh, visualize this by using uh, the concepts that we have discussed so it is also going to be in the same way which is uh, t of n is equal to n plus t of n minus 1 and the uh, uh, solution for this uh, recurrence equation uh, we have already discussed in our previous videos where uh, we have taken some examples for substitution method there we have discussed this example and if you if you substitute if you uh, solve this problem by using substitution method it is going to be n square it is going to be n square so the efficiency the worst case these are all the worst cases okay and the efficiency in the worst case for quick sort is big o of n square or uh, it is a theta of n square okay so now what about this one if the elements are so if the elements are arranged in such a way so that so if you apply the partition algorithm if it is dividing the array into two halves two equal halves so if the elements are arranged in such a way then that uh, then the then the behavior of that algorithm is n plus t of uh, t of n by 2 so which is same as that of merge sort which we have already discussed similar to that of merge sort so if you apply partition algorithm on this what happens is 2 and 1 will be in this same position and 3 will come here 5 will be here and 4 will be here so if we apply partition algorithm on this so we are dividing this array into two halves exactly into two halves if the elements are arranged in such a way so that the array is always getting divided into two halves then the efficiency of this algorithm is uh, 2 into t of n by 2 uh, plus n t of n is equal to 2 into t of n by 2 plus n and this n is for the efficiency of partition algorithm the amount of time taken by the partition algorithm so this is in if this is the case then this is the best case scenario for the 
quick sort if the elements are arranged in such a way so that the partition element the pivot element is dividing the array into two halves if that is the case if that is the case then that algorithm is going to uh, that scenario of arrangement of those elements is considered as the best case scenario and it is going to have an efficiency of so if you solve this by using substitution method or by using a master's method so this is not possible in master's method this is not possible we by using the master's method we cannot solve this so try to uh, take that master's method uh, uh, so the table that we have considered in our previous videos by using this you try to solve it it is not possible for uh, this equation cannot be solved by using master's method but this can be solved by using master's method so it is going to give the efficiency of n log n so this is same as that of mer sort okay so this is how uh, this is these are the different cases for best and worst cases for quick sort time complexity in worst case the quick sort is going to take big o of n square amount of time sorry theta of n square amount of time because uh, all the uh, the for loop is going to iterate for all the cases so that is why we have taken it as uh, theta of n square and if it is the case of best case uh, it is going to take an amount of time uh, the amount of time taken the time complexity of this algorithm or the efficiency of the quick sort algorithm is n log n okay hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching